Hey guys, I thought I'd show off a few of my recent pickups. Um, I picked all of these up in the last, I would say, two weeks, I guess. Got all of these from CEX. If you live in the UK or a couple of other countries around the world, you all know that CEX is a uh, secondhand, like, electronics shop. Uh, I love the place. A lot of people meme on them pretty hard. For this, that, and other reasons, but personally, for picking up retro gear, I think that they're, they're pretty bang on. So, first game I got here is Jericho. If I could sort the lighting out, that'd be better. Now, uh, this is an interesting game. I actually had this one back in the day. It's a squad based tactical four player well i think it's four player co-op um kind of like supernatural shooter pretty good game uh, i also bought it not that long ago on the playstation 3 just because they had it and they didn't have the um the 360 version which kind of bothered me because i want it on the 360 because that's the system i remember you so yeah jericho very happy to finally have that back in my collection Next up, we have a very rough copy of Shellshock Nam 67 on the original Xbox 50p. Can you believe that? I've already like bathed this box, believe it or not, in 99% uh, alcohol just to try and get most of the gunge off it. But <laughs> this one's going to require proper deep cleaning. But there we go. So this is a uh, third person shooter set in Vietnam. Now, this game has an amazing soundtrack and a brutal story uh, because, you know, Vietnam. So happy to have this one in my collection. I used to play this game back on the PlayStation 2 with a friend, um, an ex-military friend that I had many, many moons ago. And he was playing this on the hardest possible difficulty, and it was savage. I don't think we ever actually finished it. And I just noticed, Gorilla Games. Very interesting. Ah, oh, this one's not complete. But it is what it is. Was Jericho complete? Yes, yes it is. Very nice. So, what else have we got in the old uh, sack of plenty? Ah, yes. So, here we have Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Uh, don't think I ever played this on the OG Xbox. Uh, I do have it, and I have... Ah, oh, no, hang on. No, I played this back on the PS2 with Ant again. And I remember having a really good time with it. So, you know, when the opportunity arose to pick it up for a pand on the OG Xbox, uh, I couldn't say no. And look at that. There we go. It's complete as well. Not bad. Not bad. Happy with that. Next, we have... Ah. Oh, this was something I was really happy to see. And even happier to see for three pounds. Silent Scope Complete. Now, this uh, was actually on the Dreamcast and PlayStation 2. And I originally played a demo of it on the Dreamcast all those years ago, back in the before times. So, um, seeing this on the Xbox, I thought this... Oh, it's complete too. I thought this was a rare and somewhat expensive game to collect. Uh, Xbox version. But apparently not. It's a light gun shooter with a difference. You actually play as a sniper and you have like an actual scope that you can drag across the screen and zoom in on certain points really cool stuff uh i look forward to playing that at some point in the probably distant future now this one call of duty 2 i've actually been playing back through this on my xbox one x because i haven't got a series x in the gaming room at the moment i've only got my uh series s set up so i've had to dust off the one x because i actually started playing this again on the xbox 360 and holy shit i didn't realize just how badly this actually performed on the 360 which is a bit of a shame because um i used to enjoy call of duty i used to really like cod back in the day uh, and this was the first game i played on my 360 when i bought it on launch day i bought it with this cameo and i want to say perfect dark zero i think um and this game is fantastic but i can say running this through backwards compatibility on the xbox one x 
Uh, it runs flawlessly. There's no slowdown at all. Uh, I've only done the Russian campaign up to this point. Uh, <laughs> the 360's first great shooter. Yeah, that's because it like <laughs> it launched with the system. And the only other competition for that was Perfect Dark Zero. And, well, that, um, that was a little old shit, wasn't it? But we convinced ourselves it was good. Quite expensive. Eight pounds for this, which I thought was interesting. But yeah, uh, with backwards compatible mode, it looks quite nice upscaled. Definitely better than it did on the 360 because I played it on the 360 and then put it in my Xbox uh, One X just to see the difference. And you do also on the backwards compatibility get that buttery smooth 60 FPS no frame drops, which is very nice. Was this complete? Ah, this is complete, but of course the game is in my Xbox One X. Yeah, very happy. Very happy indeed. So next we have Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I, yeah, this case needs attention as well. Uh, I never played this game, um, apart from about 10 minutes at all. The case feels, yeah, yeah. All right, case is broken, but it's fine. Um, I played about 10, 15 minutes of this, maybe even 20 minutes on the Wii U. Uh, but it ran like absolute shit. So I decided to get the 360 version because it's two pounds, man, two pounds. And I do want to get a complete um, 360 Call of Duty collection just for shits and gigs. Now, uh, Ghosts actually was a cross-gen game so it's obviously better on the other consoles and pc but you know one day i've i probably won't ever play this I'll, if 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 i ever play ghosts which i wouldn't hold my breath um i will play it on the pc or on a more powerful console next we have my actual favorite call of Call of Duty game ever. Now this one doesn't seem to get a huge amount of love, but this is legitimately my favorite Call of Duty. World at War. Now this was the last Call of Duty game I played before I gave up on Call of Duty. So a lot of people go on about Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare three did they do four five six i'd whatever i don't know um this was my jumping off point for cod and this for me was the pinnacle of call of duty i loved every second of it and i'm actually looking forward to going back through this game what else have we got ah yes now i have a feeling uh can't quite see by craning my head back. I've already got this. Uh, but this is the thing on the original Xbox. This is supposed to be like a really good horror game. Uh, it does a lot of unique things by having this like adaptive AI system. And I've actually only seen the thing once. I watched it way back when, when I was a kid. And it was a banging film. Uh, and apparently the game's really good as well. Uh, I don't... Oh, it's complete as well. Was World of War complete? No! So, oh, that's interesting as well. Oh, you sneaky bastards. It's a classic disc, but it's not a classics case. Not that for 360s, I really care about that in my collection. It does bother me with my PS1 games. I do like to have a uh, black label, if I can. Uh, did we check Ghosts? Was Ghosts complete? Yeah, Ghosts was complete. Yeah, of course we checked Ghosts because the case was broken. And this is interesting. Medal of Honor Frontline on the OG Xbox. Don't know if I played this one. I played one recent. I've got a modded Xbox here. And it's got all these games on anyway. But I just like to have them physically. Especially, I mean, come on, for a pound, man. Uh, I can't remember which Medal of Honor it was that I played recently. It wasn't Rising Sun. But. I remember thinking to myself, 
I thought these Medal of Honor games were a lot better than that was. It was really bad. I thought I literally felt like I was playing a PS1 game um, with slightly nicer graphics. I don't know if that's this one. Can't remember. But, you know, whatever. Medal of Honor. Very interesting, proud history. Will I play that one? <sighs> Probably. I'm not sure. Ah, this one. Next. Splinter Cell. Now, the friend I was telling you guys about, Anthony, he actually bought me this game for my birthday when it first came out. And man, was I addicted to this game. I played the absolute death out of this. But funny enough, I never completed it. And I, I can't think why I didn't complete this game. I want to say... I came up against some sort of bug, some sort of glitch, because I remember um, I got pretty far through it, and there was a door that you needed a key card for. Now, whether I was just thick, because I was a kid, which is absolutely possible, um, or that door just didn't open, I don't know. Maybe I didn't get the key card. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. But this game actually blew my mind. Um, this really show off the power of the Xbox. They did later on bring it to PlayStation 2 in a brutally cut down port visually. Uh, and I think the GameCube also got a port of the PS2 version, which was savage because the GameCube was so much more powerful than the PS2. The PS2, although having the best games library, arguably, of that generation, um, from a hardware standpoint was an absolute turkey compared to the other two now um i never really played other splinter cell games i played a little bit of pandora tomorrow actually i think i completed that one i played another one on the 360 i don't know which one that is i uh, can't remember and i you know they they were fine but i, I kind of just got bored of them the whole espionage and stealth and blah 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 i just want a belt fed machine gun and i want to run around and shoot people um but you know i'm actually looking forward to going back through this one and this one is also backwards compatible uh with the xbox as well and not only is it backwards compatible they've boosted the frame rate they've made it 4k they've put a lot of work into the splinter cell games now that's all of that for that pile now today i went back in and I spent some more money because uh, apparently that's something I like doing. Now, the great thing about collecting for 360 and Xbox original at the moment, original Xbox, Xbox One, the, the beginning Xbox, whatever, I hate, ah, Microsoft needs to sack their naming division, uh, but whatever, um, is the game's for the majority, for the most part, are super, super cheap. Anyway, pile two, we got Call of Juarez, 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 Bound in Blood. Now, I played the demo of this back when I was a kid. Uh, or back, I say back when I was a kid. I mean, I, I was probably, what, 18, I guess. Um, and I really enjoyed this one. But I never actually played the physical game. But for £2.50... Yeah, I probably will play that at some point. I don't know where to put these. I need to keep these games separate from those games because these games have been catalogued into the collection. These have not. Right, and we got Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter for a pound as well. Now, this game uh, I got when it first came out on the original... Uh, oh, on the original. On the, the 360. This game visually was unfrickin' believable, and uh, I remember I played this a hell of a lot. Now, Ant, uh, my friend Anthony, the one that got me Splinter Cell, and the one I used to play my games with, I remember he actually popped over once, and this is just after I got my first HD TV. It was a Hitachi 26-inch TV. I'll never forget that bloody thing. Um, it's actually pretty good for what it was. It cost me like six 
hundred pounds for a 27 no tw it was a 26 inch man 720p tv and it was the cheapest one i could find uh because i just really wanted one for hd yo because xbox yo and all that uh and yeah it was pretty good now this blew him away he couldn't believe the visuals we were getting so I'm going to be interested to play this again and see just how well this stacks up. And this was a squad-based tactical shooter as well, where you could actually give commands out to your dudes. You don't really get that anymore, um, unfortunately. So, yeah, very, very interested to play that one. Now, next we have Section 8. Um, this is like a first-person shooter. Uh, I don't know a huge amount about it. I a quid. I played a demo of it like way back in the day. We've got some very generic artwork here, like very boring, very dull. Um, this game does have a hook, some sort of gimmick to it, but I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, I did see a review of it a couple of years ago, and apparently it's okay. It's fine. So, you know, I'll probably play that at some point. Oh, that's not complete either. Son of a bitch. It's fine. And, ooh, that's, I can feel that's not complete. Ugh. Not doing well here. So, anyway, uh, we have Ghost Recon Future Soldier, which I think is a sequel to Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Or did they do an Advanced Warfighter 2 and then this one? I can't remember. But I never played this. Um, so for the price, I thought I'm going to add it. Because these games were huge, massive back in the day when they first came out. Now this one's better with Connect. I fucking doubt it. I'll tell you that. That Connect thing belongs in the trash. Absolute garbage. Um... Yeah, worst accessory ever, maybe. So yeah, looking forward to playing this one. Next, uh, oh yeah, this one. John Woo presents Stranglehold. So this is like a John Woo film. What is this shit? I've got to clean these cases up. One day, when I get some time, probably at the weekend. So this is kind of like Max Payne, sort of, but... I remember my brother played this back in the day. I thought it was a big old bowl of dog shit, but it was a quid, and I'm kind of nostalgic for it. So we are, you know, going to probably play it at some point, I guess. Um, Honor is his code. Vengeance is his mission. Bloodshed is his only option. And I got AIDS from reading that, so you know it's going to be shit. Um, not really sure. I know there was a whole load of stuff when that game was being developed. Like, they were going on about its budget and the cinematic feel of the game, because of course they were, because games have to be films, remember. Especially around then. And it didn't come out like they wanted it to uh hello hello can i assist you sir Leo. you're going to introduce yourself to the peoples no he doesn't care he's just here to cause mischief and torment and misery <laughs> what are you doing silly donut cat yeah, um, you're not really helping here, buddy. In fact, quite the opposite. You're being incredibly counterproductive right now. Re no. Now you're purring. And my phone is warning me that the battery's running out. Excuse me. Come on, Leopold. Leopold Esquire. Which is his actual name, by the way. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, thanks for that, Leo. You've completely balked my train of thought. Now, we have uh, IL-2, Birds of Prey. Now, this game, I'm pretty sure I had this back in the day, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Might have been Secret Weapons Over Normandy, but these are great. These are like Ace Combat, Flight Sim, well, not Flight Sim, like Arcade Air Shooters. I miss these. We used to have so many of these back in the day. 
so much fun. I would LP them, but I don't really know how to make them that interesting, to be honest. Uh, I would definitely be playing this, though. Very happy to see this. No, because I think Secret Weapons Over Normandy. Um, yeah, because they did a sequel to that. And that one, from what I can remember, on the 360 is actually quite expensive. I'm not sure. But yeah, no, happy to have that. Um, and we have Call of War, Yares, Juarez, Yares, War, whoever the fuck this guy is. Um, Call of War is the cartel. So this, I believe, was the third game in this series. I bought this because it's got a nice cardboard cover. Um, this game is not set in ye olde cowboy times, as you can see by the uh, helicopter there. They actually modernized this, and I believe he's taken down like a cartel gang in modern times for... I don't know, reasons, I suppose, but uh, from what I can remember, this one was supposed to be a big old barrel of dog shit and actually killed the uh, franchise. So, yeah, there's that, I guess. Will I play this one? I don't know, maybe. It just looks very boring to me, to be honest, but maybe, maybe I'll give it a go. Anyway. There were my recent Xbox uh, pickups. That was fun. <laughs> for me, anyway. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.